Hi everyone, it's Tiara. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'll be sharing with you guys my January favorite. Let's get started and jump right into my first favorite. I'm gonna start with makeup items first and the first thing that I want to talk about is actually my current go-to lip combination and it's what I have on my lips right now. A lot of you guys have been asking me on Instagram stories and I just wanted to keep it till my January favorites to share with you guys. And it is this, these two products. This is the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Lip Pencil in the shade Naked. And it's like a peachy nudie color as you can see on my lips. It's much more toned down or muted than this. But that's because I actually top it off with Colourpop Slippy Sticks in or lippy stick in the shade Frida and I have just been obsessed with this lip combination it's so sweet and nice and it matches a lot of outfits and it's something that I don't really go for in a nude shade I always go for like brownie kind of mauve rosy shades but this time around I just decided to experiment with lip liners and I picked this out and I thought it would go well with the shade Frida and it does! So Frida is like a... like it has a peachy undertone to it. It's very understated so it's the lip combo I have on my lips right now. The second thing is a corrector and I think I mentioned this... I think I did in my some of in some of my favorites i can't really uh, previous favorites or my best of 2016 i will link those videos in the description box below and in the card section so i've been really enjoying my color corrector from urban decay i really like this a lot it does it it looks like it does nothing but i feel that it does something it helps brighten my under eye area and it's very comfortable to use and easy to blend which i really like Next is a blush and it's the Too Faced Sweet Peach Blush. I originally purchased this from the Too Faced US website. As of now, the Sweet Peach collection is actually available in Sephora, Singapore. It will be launched in stores on the 2nd of February, so that's coming very very soon. But it launched online but I think um, like it got sold out. I really like it because it gives like a glow to my face and it smells like peaches which is really the main reason why I wanted to purchase it anyway. I'm obsessed with it and I really like it a lot. Another cheek of face product that I've been using quite a fair bit is Benefits Hula Bronzer. If you've been watching me for a while, you know that I don't wear bronzer often, I don't contour often because I feel that if I contour, I will look like, you know, sunken and like really skinny so that's why I don't do it but recently I decided to experiment with it and just bronze up my skin a little bit from for day to day and I've been really liking it like I've been enjoying it I like like having a little bit of dimension to my face yeah I've just been really enjoying this a lot speaking of experimenting um, this is an eyeshadow palette and um, the reason why I put it in my favorites video is not because I use it every single day but I felt that the palette actually helped me break out of my comfort zone and try out new eyeshadow looks. So as you can see today I have like a purple and pink eyeshadow look and it's something that I won't try or won't wear out but yeah I've just been enjoying um, experimenting with colors for my eyeshadows and the reason behind it is this palette. This is the Urban Decay Full Spectrum Palette. Yeah, I, I received this from the Urban Decay team in Singapore so thank you so much for sending it to me. I really like it a lot. And the colors inside are very loud and super not wearable at all for day-to-day -day wear. It just looks like that. It's super colorful. It has like the colors of the rainbow in it. But because of this palette, I felt inspired to experiment more with my eyeshadow looks and just up my makeup game a little bit. And I've been really enjoying coming up with different colored eyeshadow looks. So that explains why in my previous video, I had like a turquoise and a purple eyeshadow look. And today I have a purple and pink eyeshadow look, which I am obsessed with as well. Another eyeshadow palette is by Morphe and this is the 35F palette. Um, if you watch my chit chat get ready with me, I will link it down below and in the card section. Icha or Dayang actually gave this to me for my birthday this year. And I'm just very impressed with the eyeshadows in the, the Morphe palette. 
They are very pigmented but they have quite a fair bit of fallout but I think that's because it's very pigmented. And I've just been loving this eyeshadow palette a lot. I've been experimenting with this eyeshadow palette as well. Yay! Morphe palettes, they're actually not bad. So if you have yet to try one of them, I highly recommend them. Now moving on to other items. The first thing I want to share with you guys is this. This is the GHD Copper Luxe Styler. I actually did a hair tutorial which I will also link down below and in the card section with this. And for the first half of January, I've been using this every single morning to curl my hair. And I love it. Like, I never used to curl my hair every day because I think that it's so leche and time consuming but because of this, it's so easy and it's so quick that I just decide to like curl my hair often nowadays but recently never because I've been very lazy. Now for the last part of the video and that's the fashion items. The first thing is my Chanel studs. I got the Chanel studs for myself for my 25th birthday. Oh <laughs> god, 25. Anyway, I've been wanting them for a very long time but I always procrastinate getting them but yeah, this year I thought to myself that hey, I'm 25, quarter of century old, I deserve something that I really like and I will use. So this is what this is how they look like. They're just simple Chanel studs, the two C's. And the metals on it are really cool. Like the design is quite rustic. It has it looks it's like gold, but it's like it has a tinge of silver in it as well, which is something that's very interesting and it matches a lot of my accessories as well like my Monica Vinader and my Michael Kors watch. So I've just been enjoying wearing my um, stats for this month of January. And yeah, I really like it a lot. The next fashion item is a pair of pants. This is one of my favourite like items of the month because I've been wearing it like crazy. And they are my white pants from House of Bubblegum. I purchased this from Fashion Valley and I did haul it. So in I think like a couple of months back, I love these pants. Like you have no idea how much I love it. I think I might want to get it in like black as well. It is so comfortable. It goes with everything. It like it makes my legs look really good and I just really like it a lot and I've been wearing it a lot as well. Next thing is a bag and this is not mine. <laughs> this is my mom's handbag that she rarely uses because to her she says that there's a lot of compartments she cannot keep track. But this is the coach um, bag that I've been carrying a lot in my outfit OOTDs in Instagram stories. So if you're wondering where it's from, it's from coach. I'm not sure where you can find it but um, I got this last year or my mom got it last year, or we got it last year. And I've just been enjoying this bag because it's so, like, it's like a tote bag but much nicer looking. And I don't look like a student when I carry this bag. Um, because every time I carry a tote bag, people think that I'm a student, which I don't really mind lah. But um, sometimes I want to look a little bit more uh, executive fee especially when I go for events and all that and I want and I carry like a lot of things so the this bag actually fits a lot of stuff so I've just been enjoying this bag and I love the color it's like a nice tan color last but not least I've been wearing these pair of shoes to death and these are my Tory Burch Espadrilles as you can see the brown part actually matches the brown part of the bag so that's why I like to pair these pair of shoes with that bag because of like the similarities I find that these pair of shoes are very casual they're very comfortable they can casualize a very like uh, preppy outfit which is something that I like the unfortunate part about this pair of shoes is that the sole one side of the sole actually broke like it just broke and I only had that for like less than a month so I went to the cobbler at my office area and he the kind old uncle actually helped to like of course I paid him lah but yeah, he glued on the sole for me so that was unfortunate but I'm glad that I solved it uh, but anyway I got this on sale last year super amazing deal and Shikin or Shikin Kimura she also has a YouTube channel but I think she's very busy to like upload 
Like she works at Tory Burch and she was so nice. She like helped me and my mom pick out our sizes and like recommended us stuff and she was just really nice. So Shikin, if you're watching, thank you. And yeah, the shoe like I don't know what I did lah, but anyway, I love it. So yay! So that's all for my January favourites. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you did and subscribe to my channel for more videos from me. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys soon in my next video. Bye!